Once upon a time, in a whimsical land called Teletablia, there lived four extraordinary friends known as the Teletablers. Each Teletabler possessed a unique power and had a color that matched their special ability. Tinky Winky, the tallest and the leader of the group, had a purple aura. He could make plants grow and flowers bloom with a wave of his hand. Tinky Winky loved to take care of the gardens and forests in Teletablia. Dipsy, the Teletabler with a green aura, had the ability to talk to animals. He could understand what birds, rabbits, and even the little insects were saying. Dipsy was the protector of all creatures in Teletablia. Lala, with her sunny yellow aura, had the power to control the weather. She could make the sun shine, the rain pour, and the wind blow gently or strongly. Lala made sure Teletablia's weather was always perfect for playing. Last but not least, there was Pa, the smallest Teletablur with a bright red aura. Pa had the magical gift of making delicious food and sweets appear with a snap of her fingers. She was in charge of keeping everyone's tummies happy. One sunny morning, the Teletablers woke up to find their land in trouble. The trees were sad, the animals were worried, the skies were gray, and everyone was hungry. Something was terribly wrong, and they needed to find out why. The Teletablers gathered in their magical meadow and decided to go on an adventure to discover the source of the problem. With their unique abilities and determination, they set out on a journey through the colorful and enchanting world of Teletablia. Along their way, they met talking animals who told them about a dark cloud that had covered Teletablia. The cloud was the cause of all the troubles, making the plants wither, scaring the animals, and ruining the weather. The Teletablers knew they had to do something to save their land. As they continued their adventure, they discovered a cave hidden in the heart of Teletablia. Inside the cave, they found a mysterious crystal. The crystal was filled with all the negative feelings that were causing the dark cloud. Working together, the Teletablers used their unique powers to heal the crystal. Tinky Winky made the crystal bloom with flowers. Dipsy filled it with the joyful sounds of animals. Lala cleared away the dark cloud, and Pa made delicious food appear to share with the crystal. Slowly, the crystal absorbed all the positive energy from the Teletablers, and it started to shine brightly. With one final burst of magic, the crystal shattered, and the dark cloud disappeared, leaving Teletablia bathed in sunshine once again. The Teletablers had saved their land, and as a token of their gratitude, the land of Teletablia became even more magical and beautiful. The trees grew taller, the animals danced with joy, the skies were bluer, and the food was tastier than ever. The Teletablers returned to their meadow, where they knew they could overcome any challenge as long as they stuck together and used their unique abilities for the good of Teletablia. And so, they continued to live happily ever after, always ready for new adventures and challenges.